Hello, my friends. This is Qing Hong here. Spring is once again upon us, and that's a new beginning for everything. For me, I recently started to teach watercolor again online, after taking a long break to attend to our new farm life. It's so wonderful to reconnect with my artist community. Last weekend. I taught a beginners workshop, and we had a great time. So I thought to share a clip of the workshop recording with you, when I demonstrated four basic brushwork, and I hope you enjoy it. The entire workshop recording is also available. Link in the description box below. Happy painting. So the more I'm centered in my truth, the more I can create and add the truth to the world. So and truth is beauty, and beauty is love. And I do have an exercise for it. It's really simple. But before we go there, let me go back to some basic brush technique. Then we can play this game. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little demo, but I actually did it、um, uh, yesterday, so I videotaped it because I want you to be able to see the angle of my brush. So hold on. Okay, so if you see a video, just knock your, I mean, nod your head. That's awesome. So I'm going to start. So this is just uh, my um, painting table. It's really simple. I have my setup as I just mentioned to you. And let me start to play. So, first, I show you my water and put my brush into it, and you can just tuck it and get rid of any excess water you don't want. So next, I'm going to demonstrate the first way of an essential brushwork. Just to use the tip of the brush and pull some of that pigment. And this is just like we do with acrylic or even pencil. It's nothing special. Just use the tip of the brush and draw, basically like drawing on the paper. So nothing special. So that's one. So I have four. There's just a million ways of using brush, but I have found these four are most essential, and I want to share that with you. So the next, I want to show you a second very useful、um, brush work. It's actually Laying my brush down and soak up all the pigment and water onto the entire body of that brush. Do you notice that my entire body of the brush head are saturated with the water and color? And also, I'm laying down my brush. See how it's almost parallel to the painting surface, and gently glide, glide the brush onto my paper. And see, I have some skipping of the paper. That means the brush is really more dry. So I got more water and give it another try. So there's more water, nice smoother. Okay, yes.、Yeah, so this is second, just、uh, really laying flat using the entire body of the brush head, or entire head of the brush. <laughs> okay, now come to the third one. This third one, I just took off many water. So there's not much water. But use the just it's really dry, and I like a sword. I glide very quickly onto the paper, and that creates this skipping and all this texture. So this is really really wonderful.、Uh, we're going to talk about how we use it, but that's another like sword that you glide onto your paper very quickly with motion and energy. So and now finally the fourth one, <laughs> just throw water. <laughs> Throw pigment onto the paper and don't underestimate. This is the most important brushwork if you want to paint loosely. So okay, so I just、uh, throw it onto the paper, and also the second one. I don't know if you noticed. So let me just、uh, go back to this one more time. So how to throw? This is so important. So let's do it one more time. So first, I can simply just.、Uh, Throw water onto it, yeah, and we can mess things up, and that's really important. And then I can use a like another brush, like a support, and now the spatter is much smaller. 
So you can have much smaller. So that's how you are going to do it. Okay. All right. So next moment, we're going to play with this and know that we have a million ways and you are going to have your own favorite ways. So this just start. And for you, if you've never done watercolor, to get you started. <laughs> 